Hello, my name is Anthony Lord, and this short presentation is on broadband death parameter measurements to 130 GHz. So there's many challenges in making very high frequency measurements over a really broad band, especially when going to millimeter waves. So people used to do this in multiple bands. And so, for example, they might measure in coax from a few megahertz all the way up to 50 gigahertz. And then they'd use rectangular waveguide bands to measure from 50 to 70, 75 to 110. And then they'd have to stitch all that data together. But the problem there is it requires then uh, multiple probes, multiple calibrations, multiple measurements, uh, plus then trying to get the, the data into one continuous sweep. So it wasn't ideal. Uh, customers need to do this, particularly in device modeling and circuit characterization, um, where they need to measure not just a, a narrow band, but very broad band circuits or device characterization, which needs to go really from a few kilohertz to well past the FT, um, the cutoff frequency of the transistor, uh, in order to make accurate and reliable models that are needed for designers to bring together then the integrated circuit designs. And also these measurements are quite often needed over temperature. So typically device modeling needs to be measured from minus 40 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius, and now in some automotive applications up to 175 degrees Celsius. So measurements have to be made over a very broad uh, temperature range as well as a very wide bandwidth. And also devices which are going into space, defense or automotive uh, applications will also require hot and or cold measurements because that's the conditions they're going to be used under whether it's in an engine or a car or in the cold of space. So form factor along with Keysight and their N5291 vector network analyzer um, came together with an integrated solution to allow these very broadband measurements from very low kilohertz frequencies all the way up to 120 or even 130 gigahertz all in one single sweep with a single set of probes, single set of cables, single calibration and a single measurement. And this can be done on pretty much any of the form factor probe stations uh, with manual or programmable positioners. Uh, we have our microchamber technology which allows a dark EMI shielded and frost-free environment that allows you to go from temperatures from minus 60 degrees Celsius all the way up to plus 200 degrees Celsius if you need to. Um, there's easy visibility to probes both through the microscope and also with the probe viewing window that you can easily see where the probes are located and bring them together by eye before placing them down onto the pads or the calibration substrate using the digital microscopy system. Uh, we have that high power microscope system so you can see accurately where you're placing your probes. And we designed it to have a very low loss measurement channel. And so we're keeping the lowest possible insertion loss, which improves dynamic, dynamic range and directivity, but it still makes it practical and easy to use. Uh, and then we also we have our fast swap application arms. So if you want to swap from doing these broadband measurements to 130 gigahertz and put on, for example, uh, VDI extenders to do waveguide measurements up to 220 or 330 gigahertz. It's very easy to swap between the different applications. And this setup is also compatible with our autonomous RF measurement system, which allows 24 seven testing, um, both over time, but also at different temperatures. And it monitors the calibration and recalibrates if it exceeds a certain error limit. And like all of the form factor solutions, which we integrate with instrumentation, we always give proven solution performance. So all the systems we create, we then characterize the performance and that can be seen, for example, in this data here, where we're looking at the phase linearity all the way to 130 gigahertz. Uh, so that's kind of proving the accuracy of the system and then looking at the, the drift of the system and the stability that it's less than 1% vector error after a period of hour, one hour, meaning you get good accurate measurements. And then also in terms of variability between calibrations, so if you repeat 20 calibrations over and over again, you're getting very repeatable uh, accuracy in terms of uh, the data there. So 0.4% variation over 20 different calibrations. And these proven solutions really give you the best data that is possible. 
Now, as well as also comparing our data back to our own benchmarks, we also can compare our measurement solutions and the accuracy back to a known performance industry benchmark where Keysight has their Keysight verification standard and we compare our data measured on our system back to the data uh, taken and characterized by Keysight and we can see the, the data is repeatable and pretty much the same. And we can also reproduce this under our wafer level measurement solution partnership with Keysight at customer sites when a customer buys a form factor probe station with the Keysight instrument, we can actually measure that industry standard benchmark and compare the data made at your site back to the original data characterized at Keysight to make sure you're getting the same data, which then uh, what that does is ensures consistency between data being measured at your lab uh, to maybe your company's other lab in a different part of the world. And so there's no variation or difference in measurement being taken. And that, I mentioned about the optimized measurement path and this is really important to make sure that we keep the insertion loss reasonably low. So we're using here short 10 centimeter cables. We've made sure really not to add any bends into the cables to stop any unwanted reflections. But the 10 centimeter still allows enough space for easy access to the system. So it's easy to change probes. You can get in there with high power microscope systems and high power objectives. And it's also still microchamber and top hat compatible if you need that measurement integrity of a shielded environment. The system's very phase stable with time and temperature. And so you don't get any variations or very little calibration errors as we saw in that drift measurement, where even if the temperature in the room changes slightly, you don't get uh, any degradation and instabilities in the measurement. And this whole setup works all the way up to 130 gigahertz. So this setup is also compatible with our autonomous RF measurement assistant. And this is a really nice advanced technology that allows you to remove some of the uncertainty that you get with measuring devices over particularly long periods of time. And so you have confidence that every measurement is within a defined tolerance because the system is monitoring the calibration and recalibrating when needed. You can leave it running unattended. So if you want to leave the system running overnight or over the weekend, uh, you can set up there with a wafer or cassette wafers on the probe station or test all the devices, at all the temperatures. And each time it needs to recalibrate it because it's drifted beyond a certain limit or if you've changed temperature, you need to recalibrate. The system will do all that calibration automatically for you. So you can get it going, keep it running overnight and over the weekend. Uh, the system will calibrate and monitor the calibration and if it needs to recalibrate because it's exceeded a certain limit then it will recalibrate automatically for you and you've got confidence you're always going to get a good quality measurement. And then this also increases throughput and productivity because the system's not left running idle uh, over the night and over the weekend. So just to recap and summarize there on the, the broadband solutions available from Form Factor, we really do offer proven performance as we saw in the data which we presented. It's very much enabled for optimized ease of use. And so it's easy to see where the probes are, easy to change the probes, easy to change from doing these coax measurements to maybe waveguide measurements. And then also we have our advanced automation uh, with both semi-automatic and fully automatic probe stations and along with the autonomous RF measurement system. So yes, we do have known qualified performance. Uh, we can show that same performance on the system installed at a customer's site. Uh, it's very easy to use a system with the RF top hat to control the measurement integrity and the environment. And then we have our fast swap RF arms for doing multiple measurement disciplines on the same platform. And I say you can also benefit from the autonomous RF measurement system to allow that true 24 seven testing over temperature to maximize uh, your system. So thank you for your time today. I hope you found this presentation helpful and informative. If you have any questions, then please feel free to email me at the address below.